What's good? What's good? What's good? It's your man, Big Sailor F.A. Choi. Can I see, man? As you can see, I'm sitting here with my partner, my pal, a good friend of mine, man. Um, I met on the bike set a long time ago. A long he, time. When he was actually 5'0". <laughs> <laughs> when he got the name for you know what I'm talking about? That's when I first moved to Georgia, man. It was weird for me to deal with police officers coming from California. You know, we ain't fuck with them, even though I come from a long line of police officers and I'll take you inside and show you all the awards, my mom, my dad. But okay. um, it was just crazy. But anyway, I'm here. I'm going to let him introduce himself. And y'all know how we get out. We're going to get into this question, man. Hey, what's going on? It's 5 president and CEO of Kickstand Promotions. Uh, born and raised right here. One of the few AT aliens still here. Now, yeah, that's probably one of the few. You went to Queen, probably the only one. Everybody else in Georgia. All y'all in the witness protection program. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> that, that's that's true. probably what's wrong with Georgia. That's why can't nobody drive because anybody from here. Nah, y'all came in and messed up the traffic. <laughs> that's what it was. We knew how to drive. <laughs> well, look here, man. I'm glad I got you over here today. Um, kickstand promotions, man. Five, yes, I mean, 5 -0. Let's talk about first being on a motorcycle scene here in Georgia. You, mm -hmm. you know, have experienced, you've been in a couple of clubs. Mm -hmm. Um you know, just different from Christian clubs to, you know, riding clubs to motorcycle clubs or whatever. Mm -hmm. How has that experience been? Uh, it's been different. It's, I've, I've seen the the bike set of Atlanta really evolve. Yeah. It has completely changed um, from clubs that used to just blast and tear up the freeway and racing every single day on the freeway yeah. to now people enjoying the lifestyle, getting on their motorcycles, going out of town. I mean, the bike set used to be a 285 thing okay. where we get on, blast for the day, have fun, act crazy, burn up some gas, then go home and whoever got home got home. Mm. I mean, we were having, when I first got on the set, we were having somebody die down there every day to, you know, two or three a week. Man. And it, it was really rough in Atlanta. Do you contribute that to the Harley Davidson movement? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The, oh, yeah. Movement. the, the HD movement has has completely changed the game in Atlanta to where um you would have never thought you would see the entire block burners changing. Oh the, yeah, you, the you, already know, I got a, you already know I got a story about the block burners changing. <laughs> the so, block burners changing because the, they started off as a, as a sport bike club. And I'll just give you a person, DJ Dirty. Yeah. To see him switch. Yeah. To see uh, uh, Rest His Soul, J Money switch. Yeah. To see uh, Mello, President Rough Rider switch. Okay. You know, when you see clubs and the founders and, and the leaders of these clubs understanding it's a whole different game now. It's completely well, like different. Well, we, we, the HD thing still ain't, we, we haven't claimed victory yet because it's one oh. person. You know, it's just one person we got to get. Oh, yeah. Do Jay Dose yeah. is going to get on one. <laughs> Jay Dose said he ain't never getting on one. He ain't no never one. getting on no sport, uh, getting <laughs> off the sport bike. He already said it. I saw him at uh, Trinity's mom's yeah. funeral and I mentioned it to him. He said, nope. <laughs> so, yeah, but nope. we go get you, Jay. We go get you, buddy. Okay, so coming from that evolving, seeing the, I guess, the void that was there. Mm -hmm. Um, you started Kickstand Promotions. Mm -hmm. um, what what is Kickstand Promotions? Well, uh, Kickstand Promotions is a is a marketing and events company that I that I started back when there was a bunch of chaos in the city. Okay. Uh, back a long a while ago, clubs were scheduling things on top of each other. So I said, why not start a company that will put out a calendar, advertise for everybody, speak to everybody for everybody, and maybe it would calm some of the scheduling down. And in the beginning, all it was was a advertising company. Okay. And I started off building the list and I got it, got in touch with some corporate uh, partners, some of the dealerships around the city, and built my list and started communicating and advertising for different clubs. And then, then you know, of course, the council came out and solidified the calendar. It all kind of worked together. And all I did was say, why not take something that I love which is motorcycles, build a business around it. And that's how Kickstand Promotions came. Now, it's easier said than done because a lot of criticism comes from the fact that people feel like you exploit the motorcycle community. How do you feel about that when you hear that? Well, I don't see how. Yeah. I don't see how because um, I get paid to do a service. Yeah. That's it. And, and, and I'm not paid by the bike community. Yeah. 
That's just how that is. Yeah, but like, for example, I've heard, even for me, FHO, man, a lot of people feel like we use the bike community for our personal gain or whatever, whatnot. And sometimes it bothers me, sometimes it don't. But for the most part, I'm saying, listen, man, I give way more than I get. Of course. Because some, for some reason, they think we make a, a million, gazillion dollars. Oh, no. <laughs> so, oh, no, it doesn't go that way. So you've never had, you've never heard that? Or you oh, never? no, I've heard that. Okay. I've heard people come back and say, why do I not do the same things that I do for the clubs that I do personally, case in point, like I do my bike night at, at TGI Fridays? The difference comes down to, uh, clubs that have clubhouses should be able to sustain their clubhouse because a clubhouse is for a club. Mm -hmm. And no disrespect to them in any way because I love clubhouses. They're, they're great. Um, it's just I'm not in a club, so I do. I'm do it's a business. So how do, you, how do you feel when people say, well, like a lot of people feel like you shouldn't be able to do bike nights um, because you're not in the club? And or because you're not doing them at a clubhouse. Um, I really don't have an opinion on that, really. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, it's a business. Yeah. And and the business that hired me saw fit and saw the, the, the value and the service that I provide. And it's just an alternative. Yeah. yeah. If you, it, anyone that wants to go to clubhouses, of course. I don't even advertise for clubhouses. Yeah. Who want to go, go to the clubhouse. It's no problem. Only thing I'm doing is it's just an alternative. Yeah. It doesn't, it's not, I'm not saying everybody has to come the way I go. I advertise for the ones that are on Tuesdays, the ones that are on Thursdays. If everybody goes to my webpage, they'll see it's listed all the different bike nights around the city, different clubhouses are on there. I advertise for everybody. So I'm not trying to say it's just an alternative, it's a place to go. Speaking of that, I think you over last, uh, we, we talked the other day because mm -hmm. I contracted you for some FHO work. Right. Well, we're over a million. Uh, what you over a million emails now? Oh, it's probably whew, it's close. Yeah. It's close. I, I'll say my reach right now total when I do one full advertisement through email, social media, and everything, I hit probably about a hundred and hundred and twenty, hundred and thirty thousand people. Okay, So that's different groups, social media groups, uh, email, my distribution list. Uh, plus being in communication with other people in other parts of the country that do the same thing that I do and they share my information and and I share theirs so kickstand promotions on the whole basically if, if I was having an event yes, I would be able to contact you and come to you and say hey Jay I, this is what I need you to advertise or do you even help structure that yes because I know even with me I just gave it to you hey man that's what I need yes and uh, you all you need to do is just give it to me tune. it's a lovely uh, he put together the flyer I will be uh, dropping it like it's hot shortly, but and uh, so you put together from start to finish. Start to finish, I can do, I can all, I can do an event all the way from a intimate dinner at your house, mm -hmm. if you want to do it as a date night or whatever for your, for your significant other, all the way up to a major event like a, a club's anniversary. So if come to say new service provided by Kickstand Promotion, for some of the clubs that do, that aren't large enough want want to sit down and want to enjoy their anniversary, you can hire Kickstand Promotions. We'll come in, we'll work the door for you, we'll take care of all the logistics, we'll do everything that needs to be done for your anniversary. You can be inside, enjoy it. End of the night, you take over your, your books, you do whatever, pay me a fee, I go home. Mm -hmm. That's what we do. It's mm -hmm. a service company for the motorcycle community, and that's what we can do. Um, plus, so you got the staff and to do however, whatever. Whatever need. needs to be done, I can get it done. Whatever needs to be done. Message. If if <laughs> if you need if you need flyers done, get the flyers done. Got graphics people on staff. You need printing done. My printing is done locally. Can get that done. Okay. Uh, you need banners done. We do all all those services. Everything we can do. We're a one stop shop for the bike community. Anything and everything related to motorcycles, Kickstand Promotions can do. Besides working on the motor and the bike, we don't do that. <laughs> no, we don't do that. I suggest you take it to Harley or find you a <laughs> competent mechanic. Yeah. Because I can work on bikes too, but I'm not working on your bike at all. No, period. Not no. yours. I, I work on yours, but not yours. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> all right, so Kickstand Promotions is here now going on, what, three years? Uh, no, sir. I've been in business since 2008. Okay. Well, I'm sorry, but 
2000. That's, yes, that's some new shit. That's still five. Carry the three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that many yeah, so years. We, I started up officially with all my paperwork and everything in 2008. But I started before that, about 2000, late 2006, putting it all together. Yeah, together, but officially 2008. So do you, so do you get love on the set? Do you get? Lots. Yeah, yeah. Lots of love. Um, I mean, the basic thing that I, I try to sit and say is I put out a good product. Okay. I try my best to put out a good product. And I got good people to help me, that work with me to put out a good product. And not trying to corner the market, not trying to get rich because I don't. Um, I just but now do, we, I we, do it because I look. FHO, I, I, I'm trying to get rich. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not trying to get rich off your expense by just getting rich. I'm just saying I'm going to put out a product and I'm providing the services that would, hopefully that would get me there. Just like you go to them, to what I call my good white folks, and purchase whatever you purchase from there with no questions asked. Mm-hmm. Just do that for me. Pay me what I want from my T-shirts and all that. Don't be trying to jew me down. You know what I'm saying? And you know, don't same, be trying to do thing. Yeah, don't be trying to do five oh down. We giving you we already understand you. We you, we us. We all of us. We bikers, us. we all bikers. So we already know the we already know you're tight. So when we give you the price, that's it. You can't that's it. Don't be trying to don't be trying to do us down. It just is what it is. Okay, so Kickstand Promotion, two thousand eight. Mm-hmm. Yes. You hear a one stop shop. Now he provides everything from hosting, promoting to hosting to, to everything. Mm-hmm. Pay him any out at the end of the night. Let's talk about the the importance of advertising because a lot of clubs feel like because we are who we are, we don't have to advertise. Oh no, you have to advertise. That 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 look at look at the Fortune one hundred companies. They are who they are, but they still put a, they still put a commercial on TV yeah. because they understand you can't reach everybody. Everybody doesn't know your name. Mm-hmm. So if it reaches one, the, the optic of advertising basically comes down to if I tell you about it and I do a good job for you, you're going to tell five people. Okay. And when you tell those five people and I do a good job for those five people, they're going to tell another five people. And that's basically how everything, grow, all business grows. If you do good and you handle the things that you need to handle and you put out a good product, people will come and visit you. That's all I try to do. Mm. Okay, okay. So, is there anything, what, what issues do you run into mostly? What issues? Yeah. Um, like. I try not to have them anymore. So, I got, a, I got a pretty different outlook on life now. August 13th changed my life. Okay. That's your daughter? No, no, no. Uh-huh. August 13th, I had six strokes. Okay. In one day. Yeah. And, uh was hospitalized, uh, doctors told me, nurses, everybody sat up and told me, you're not s- supposed to be here. So now I got a completely, honestly and truthfully, different a- different outlook. I know God saved me for a reason, for keeping me here to just do do good work, and, and I try my best now not to let things bother me. It doesn't matter what, go- what goes on, that must mean if I'm you have an issue and you don't tell me, I, I, I don't really do about it. Is it is it easier now not being affiliated with a club than it was when you were in a club? I don't really see as any difference. I just, I look at it uh, in growth for myself. Um, I just say right now, being part of, right now, yeah. being part of a club is just, it's not for me. Yeah. Just right now. No disrespect to any club on the set. Have no problem with anyone. It's just right now, just not for me. I just need to do kickstand promotions business. And I love to ride. I want when I get back on my motorcycle, which will be in about two weeks. Oh, yeah. It's in the shop right now. Oh, yeah. uh, so I can tell you a story the last time I saw him. Oh, it's been it's when, been a while. When when uh he uh tried to take on a, a cone or tried to take on a Man. car. <laughs> <laughs> no, my bike has been my bike's been out of commission. I had a an electrical issue last year. And while that time Frank came, I, I got was in the hospital, and I haven't been back on it since. So, uh, doctor has cleared me, told me I can ride, um, and I'm gonna work my way back into riding like I used to. And you're gonna see me getting some young to go across. I mean, cause you did. You. I mean, uh, where we come from, Memphis that time? Where we, where we, we went to Memphis. I've been to, I've been to Dallas before. I've been to Memphis. <laughs> got rained out all the way back from <laughs> Dallas. 
<laughs> well, that was an experience. Yeah. I ain't never had so much water in my boots in my it's life. about that Dallas rain, man. They, when it rained in Dallas, boy, it be raining for real. All the way from Dallas, all the way to Meridian, Mississippi. Yeah, that's about, that's about right. That's, that's the regular a long routine. way with that's the regular nothing routine. but rain. That's the regular routine, trust me. But baby, it baby. taught me some stuff about getting on the road. Okay. I, I now see what you're talking about. It is fun getting out there, having a good time. Um, I want to do it a lot more, um, getting my bike ready so I'll be able to. And y- y'all see me back out there. Is there anything, what, what, are, what are the goals you're trying to reach? I mean, I'm, I'm, you, you started off in 2008, you're here now. Yes. you come a long way, but what more would you like to do? Um, I'm looking at expanding into other states. Okay. Um, taking kickstand promotions, doing, replicating what I, I've been able to do here and um, going to neighboring states. Uh, already I have a, a couple opportunities thinking about dealing with it in Alabama, uh, looking at... Uh, possibly uh, Columbus, Georgia, and maybe even going up into Tennessee as okay. well. Um, increasing the uh, kickstand promotions team to where we'll be able to do some other things in other areas and uh, try to replicate what we can do here. It's going to be hard because well, this bike right think, here is crazy. Yeah, and, but it, also, though, I think to just my advice on that, would, because you're from Atlanta, you're connected to Atlanta, you, right. you've watched a change in Atlanta, mm-hmm. That's why your success here with the TGI Fridays is so huge because you you knew what, what was needed. Going somewhere else, you got to depend on whoever's bringing you there to tell you, hey, this is what we need. Of course, yeah. So okay. well, that's uh, just that'll be part of building the team. Yeah, yeah. It wouldn't be me. I can't ride everywhere. Yeah. Can't go everywhere. Yeah. But uh, I've had some some people reach out from other other states and some other areas, even as far away as uh, DC. Okay. Uh, Which, uh, shout out to DC. I'll be there next at uh, the end of this month. Mm-hmm. Fort Washington, Harley Davidson. Well, I got some. I got some victory. Uh, whatever. I, I'll talk about that later on. But, <laughs> some cats but yeah, I've got some people that reached out to me and just said, "Hey, can we do the same kind of thing up here?" And it may be the evolution of kickstand is going to show you how to do those kinds of things up there. I don't know. It's mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's it's a work in progress. Okay. Yeah, work in progress. But the <laughs> ultimate goal, build this up big enough for somebody to come by it. <laughs> <laughs> so we do have goals. You have, oh, yeah, most yeah. definitely. <laughs> most definitely. So with that, with, with the expansion, with the building the bigger and the staff, mm-hmm. what do you look for? Uh, what, what, what does it take to get kickstand promotions even interested in hosting your event or taking over your event or being a part of your event? Um. I mean, because I know you every you get a thousand calls a day, but you got to say hey every Wednesday. Yeah, hey, hey. Every Wednesday. Well, one thing one thing I do is I don't do uh, uh, direct competition. Um, basically, if if I take stock in you, mm-hmm. I expect you to do the same with me. Yeah. And your uh, people can see that with my bike name. Okay. Um, you'll never see me with direct competitors as vendors at my bike night. I'll never have, like, like Ebony Steel is my jewelry vendor. Okay. All right. She's been with me. I'm not going to have another jewelry vendor there. Okay. I'm only going to have one cigar vendor. As long as you show up, as long as you do what you're supposed to do, I'm going to be faithful to you. Yeah. Um, kinds of things. And I, and I approach that kind of thing with what I do with all aspects of kickstand. I'm glad you said that, too, because loyalty is big on my thing, man. I've had... That's been my thing I've been preaching lately to those who watch this message and they, when they hear this, they're going to know. At some point, man, we, we have to pick and choose sides. And I know that's kind of, that's this kind of, everybody say it like you just, everybody say it, but I, when I'm saying that, I mean loyalty because you have to, you, you have to understand the value of those that were there in the beginning as opposed to those who see where you are now and where you're going now, you know, jumping on the bandwagon. You feel what I'm saying? Because I got people that was with me, man, that when I first started, that you know, even some was there, some some was for me, and some was like, okay, whatever. But those that stayed, man, I'm, I'm loyal to them because yeah. y'all saw the vision in the beginning. It's easy to see the vision now for Kickstand Promotions yeah. and even FHO. It's easy to see it now. I got people from all over the world calling me, telling me, oh man, you should be doing this, you should be doing that. Okay, well, that's cool now, you know, because you see it. But these people that was right here in the beginning, yeah. they saw that and told me then. So. Me, per- the, the loyalty thing and, and is it, big on my list, man, and, and that's one of the things I kind of try to preach. And then just trying to figure my way through this thing, man. I've made mistakes. I'm getting better. I learn. Oh, I can I grow. definitely yeah. say that. Oh, yeah, yeah. So. I made a bunch of mistakes with dealing with this. And, and, and my mistakes were thinking that people um, were going to be able to 
see the same vision that I see yeah. and operate it and protect it the exact same way. Um, you can probably count those people probably on one hand yeah. who, who can understand your vision and actually understand that it is uh, your vision. Yeah. It's not, not anything that they're trying to do themselves and are willing to come in and help do it. So, you know, I have the utmost respect for people who get out here and grind every day because it's a little tough trying to innovate and trying to change things to where it can, you know, people will still have a good time coming out and, and having, you know, having fun. Mm. Mm. Well, um, let me see. I think uh, I want to make sure to first before I share your link, Van Tabon. Okay. Enter recipient with the, this is a new stuff. They didn't already change it all the way up. Are you trying to log into Facebook? No, I'm doing my, um, anyway, let me see something. Okay, because that is when they were in.